On your chosen device, launch the Matterport app. Ensure you have the latest version of the app. In this demonstration, I'll be using an Android tablet. Before diving into the export feature, let's quickly look at the reasons why an export would be required. Moving projects to another device. Although with this one, it's important to note that jobs can't be transferred to different operating systems. So if I export on this Android device, my colleagues won't be able to import unless their device is also an Android. The most common option is to free up space on your device to enable it to be used on future projects. Also to archive your projects and lastly to transfer jobs to clients. Now let's kick off the export. On the project that you want to export, find the three dots to reveal editing options. On the menu that appears, choose export. With Android, this will redirect you to the downloads folder on the device. Other operating systems may go straight to the export screen. Here the project zip is generated and it might take some time depending on the file size. When the zip file is ready, it's time to choose your cloud storage host. In this example, I'm using Google Drive. Click the highlighted down arrow as shown on screen and create a new folder. Call it Matterport Zips. then backtrack all the way to the save to drive screen and ensure that the Matterport zips folder is defined as the save location. Following this, click save in the top right hand corner. Ensure Wi-Fi is active and let the file upload. Once the upload is complete, Move to a desktop and sign in to Google Drive. Here, check that the zip has uploaded properly. If so, it can now be downloaded and saved on the server. At this point, go back to the device and delete the now archived project. Notice, on some devices, you may need to rotate the tablet to portrait to find the required buttons. Once the project is deleted, the home dashboard will reset, signaling the completion of the process. Now, I'll show you how to bring a project back, how to import. Starting where we left off, the said zip should be downloaded from Google Drive. This can then be saved on a server. Next, connect your device to a computer. With that done, I can now path to the internal storage of the connected device. And in the Matterport exports folder, I can drag and drop the zip from the server so that it's now in the Matterport exports folder as shown on screen. At this point, Go back to your device and on the Matterport app, find the three topmost dots in the right corner. From the drop down menu, choose Import Job. And then choose the Import from Zip Archive folder, which takes you to where the downloaded zip is stored. Select the zip and the import will commence. And here is the imported project in the Matterport app. Give it a go yourself 
and let me know what you think. Remember that likes, comments and subscriptions go a long way in helping me give you more. Bye for now. That's the end of the video. I hope that you learnt something new and that you found it interesting. 